In this tutorial, we're going to see two examples. The first one is flocking. Let's open the flocking model. We open NetLogo first. When you open NetLogo, this will be the interface you get at the first. And then we go to File, Open Models Library. In Models Library, there are a lot of models. We find the flocking and then open it. In that local models, there are a lot of units for you to operate the models. In a model, you typically have two buttons, Setup and Go. The Setup button is for you to set up the initial status of the model, and Go button is for you to run the simulation. The other units in this model are the sliders which allow you to change the parameter of this model. For now, let's don't change anything in this model. We just click Setup and Go. Once you set up, you can see a lot of agents appear in the simulation. Since we set the population size as 300, you should see 300 agents in this model. Flocking model imitates the flocking behavior in bird population. When you observe birds in field, you probably notice when birds fly around, it seems they all fly to the same direction. You may ask, is there a leader bird or not? Computer simulation already confirmed that a leader bird is not needed. When all birds follow the same rules, flocking behavior can emerge. Let's run the simulation to see what happened in this model. Now all birds fly. The ticks in the simulation indicate the time. You can see less than 100 ticks. Some flocking phenomena already emerged. The power of NetLogo is it allows you to speed up or slow down the simulation. You can reset the simulation and observe the phenomena repeatedly. Now let's stop the simulation and see if we can change it a little bit. You may feel that all these agents are just triangles, not birds. Maybe you want to change them into birds. Yes, we can do that. In that logo, there is a command center at the bottom of the interface where you can input some command to change the model. Now let's see if we can change all these little triangles into birds. First, because I want to change all the agent's shape, I want to ask all agents. In that logo, the movable agents have a nickname called turtles. So I just put down ask turtles. Then I put on bracket to include the commands I want to give to the turtles. Now I want to set the shape of these turtles as bird. I want to check if I have the bird shape. I will go to tools and then turtle shapes editor. I open the shape list. It does not seem to have a bird shape. That's okay. I can import the bird shape from the library. When I open the library, I'll check if I have birds. Yes, I do have a few bird shapes. I'll choose bird side. Once I import the bird side into my list, I can use it in my model. Now, in the command, I use quotation mark and then put down the bird side shape name and then close the bracket, hit return. See, I change all the agents into birds, but they're too small. Maybe I can make them larger. I'll do the same thing. I'll ask turtles. 
This time, I'm going to set their size. I'll put down set size. The default size for all turtles is one. So um, I probably use four. Look at that. Now I change the little triangles into big birds. Now I have birds fly around. Feel free to pause the tutorial and try this on your own computer. The other example we want to examine is the genetic drift model, in which we're going to take a look at the output and the procedures. Genetic drift model is also in the models library. When you try to open it, NetLogo will ask you if you want to save the changes you made. At this point, we say no. The genetic drift model is in the evolution folder of the library. In this demonstration, we're going to use the genetic drift T reproduce model. Genetic drift refers to any allele frequency change in the population due to chance. In this model, we can have different numbers of individuals in the population. We can also have different numbers of colors in the population. For example, when I set up, I can decide I have up to 500 individuals with five different colors or I can adjust that. In this demonstration, I'm going to increase the color to eight colors. The individuals in this population will reproduce. The offspring will have the same color as their parents, but they will die out totally by chance. In this model, we have two more components that help us monitor this model. This one is called monitor. Yeah, that's exactly the name. It gives out the numerical data about the population. Here it says how many turtles you have in the simulation. This is a plot which gives you the graphical output of the simulation. It can show the coloration distribution or the changes over time. Let's press go to see what happened in this model. You can see the real-time change in the plot and the monitor. This is another power now logo allow us to examine the simulation. At the end, when we look at the plot, we can easily see how coloration change over time in the population. It seems we lose orange, lose brown, lose yellow. No, that's red. We only have green at the end. So we have the simulation show us the result. We also have the graphical representation to show the changes over time. And we still have the numerical data from the monitor show us the total number of turtles. So these different lines of evidence give us different means of exam the models. This is very powerful. Finally, let's look at the codes. If you click the code tab, you can go to the interface which show you all the program codes that control this model. In that logo, the program used the procedure with the structure of to end, which means each procedure starts with to and end with end. Then for one procedure, they will run from to to the end. If you look at the to setup, this is the procedure for the setup button. Let's go to the interface. See, this is the button for setup. When you press that, the program will run the corresponding codes right here from the first line to the last line. Same as the go procedure. Go procedure is associated with the go button. When you press the button, the program will run the first line codes all the way to the last line, right before the end. Then we only have set up and go. Now what happened? Why there are two more procedures here? 
These two procedures are the sub procedures. You can see there is the birth and there's the death. So birth procedure is embedded in the go procedure. The birth procedure has its own codes. And you can put birth into the go procedure. And then when you run the go procedure, NetLogo will run from the first line all the way down to the birth. And then it will go to the birth procedure to run the codes within the birth and then come back to go. Same thing happened when the NetLogo read dev. It will go to the codes included in the dev and then come back. In next tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a NetLogo model.